Shotgun's gonna be able to join the rest of them, but Fly, he's more than tanky enough to live through this, and he will challenge the Doom as best as possible and create more space for No-Tail. I don't know if I've seen this, when the Doom respawns with his Doomling still available. If you die again, do you just keep spawning him over and over? He could have an army of Doomlings at this rate. But he doesn't want to suicide again. He's now, right now trying to use these uh, little Doom Links in order to get some CS. Fly is just sitting on the front lines here, challenging these two different heroes. Another shard comes out, and he's going to be blocked down. He does have the rip as well as crit coming in. It looks like they will be able to fight this one as Fly. He knows so well that he can drop incredibly low, but thanks to the Decay stacks as well as the Mango and then Soul Rip on himself, he will be able to survive. Double Avalanche, the Snowball goes out, but Kaka is tossed back. They bring him into the Snowball, now trying to get away, but they get the kill again. Smart Doom Link's cut out, but this time around, Old Eleven doesn't really have the opportunity to set up a turnaround kill. At least they kept Miracle from getting a, another Bounty Rune. He was forced to take a haste. He was forced to take a haste? <laughs> what a ridiculous The life statement. of an alchemist. I only got a haste rune out of this, guys. Top lane, Old Eleven's gonna be caught. He does have Snowball. Crit's pretty low, we dodged the Avalanche, but it's gonna be the Tether slow that keeps him at bay, unable to really chase down Crit effectively, unless, oh, barely gets that kill. Just before he has to die to Tiny, but at least he gets the exchange. Meanwhile, in the bottom... Rage from Miracle, he's still got plenty of battle charges, though, on him. Starts coming forward, does manage to get the extra slow. They also have Old Eleven here for the extra burst damage for the turnaround, as OG popped the Tombstone. Oh, he does heal out. Nice snowball saving the unstable concoction, unable to finish off a lot of him. It's gonna be Fly who may be dying. Soul rips himself, keeps himself There's alive. A lot of zombies. Zombies. has a lot of zombies out. Looks like they will be able to get that one kill shackle shot on the moon meander right in front of the tier one tower. But old chicken is low. The Fisher brings him low, and now Miracle is gonna be in the neck going to the next target. Old eleven. He does still have mana though, has a snowball ready to go. But no opportunity for a turnaround. Moon it does land. They should be able to get this mid tower. I don't know if OG want to give this up. They don't have the relocate available. Oh, though. the block. Oh, didn't quite get it, but still, no tilt's going to be able to get the combination on the two of them. Unstable concoction. Old 11 does go down. Moon makes sure. With the echo slam, that it's a quick kill. The rest of OG thinking about, yeah, they're going to just back out. There's so much that you can catch up. Like, you want to eventually spare some time to be able to farm and catch up in gold. Like, you don't want to revert yourself to pure four position with this hero. Oh, they're gonna go for the relocate. Bottom lane, Lana to stand a chance. Good lord. He had his ultimate, but look at top lane. E Home will respond? No. I thought they were gonna push out that top lane by themselves, but they're actually gonna TP in. Not wanting to give up any ground to OG. Old Chicken putting himself on the front lines. He knows that he's more than taking enough to deal with a combination from No-Tail, especially with the Living Armor Shackle shot onto the two of them, but there's the interrupt from Moon Meander with a two-man Fisher. They're still going to be able to get some damage onto No-Tail. There is no relocate to be able to save him. No-Tail gets blocked out, healthily enough. Snowball comes in, they go straight into No-Tail, trying to lock him down. They throw out the Doom onto the Earthshaker, preventing that turnaround, but the Dundying Doomstone is going to be doing so much work against E-Home as they now are forced to retreat. OG are going to look for those pickoffs. There's still some healthy members here. Old Chicken, he's going to be the first target. Moon Meander, he's Doom almost run out here. He's gonna be able to get off of Fisher looking for more. Shackle shot gets laid out in no tail. Crit's keeping him alive though, and Ehome won't be able to go for that kill. At least not right away. CTY, he needs to help out his side heroes. Echo slam. Old 11 does get hit by that stun. Can't manage to get off the snowball, dodging the toss. He'll get a little damage onto the earth shaker, but will stunned up by the unstable concoction. He's still alive somehow, but at least he ensured a turnaround kill. Kaka's next up. No tail keeps on going for him. Combination more than enough is the doom. Low on net worth had no HP. And Crit. OG win yet another fight. And Crit did such a good job of keeping everybody alive. Doesn't stick himself on just no tail. Constantly rotating around. And this is what makes IO such an annoying hero. They're gonna go oh, for more though. CTY. He did not expect no tail was stalking him the whole way through. 9 to 12 now as the items come rolling in for OG. No tail might have stayed a little bit too long, but Crit's right here. He doesn't have the mana for a relocate, but the movement speed is enough to stay ahead of old chicken. Tiny, whose net worth is almost double the Wind Rangers <laughs> and is over double the Vipers. Thanks to that Aghanim Scepter being passed over to him, they immediately smoke up and look for the fight, knowing that they should be able to easily win it. They don't have a CTY for this one. They're gonna come downhill. This is gonna be real bad. Old Chicken, he's gonna be the first target up in the way. Back down. No Tails just beating him to a pulp. He's already got a monster kill streak, and he is a monster on the front lines. Moon Meander stuns up Old Eleven. They'll look for more now. Toss forward. Kaga, he's gonna be the next target. Almost has the feature ready to go, but they turn around. As they found Lonham, they caught him out with the counter ward and ward combination. Take three and make it a Roshan as well. With the way that OG have itemized, 
and the tiny being this uh, this strong, I don't actually think there's a way for Ehome to fight into them. Like this game is starting to kind of get out of hand at just 22 minutes in. Completely made the right decision. Backs against the wall with one game left to go. The they decide to make is... no tail the core. The real hard part for Ehome at this point in time. If you can fight OG, are you going to be able to split push them? And it looks like their their heroes just really aren't meant for that. The Wind Ranger is the best power shot. Now with the Blink Dagger, can push aggressively, but the rest of E Home heroes like Viper and Doom aren't going to be able to provide the same kind of pressure on the side lanes. Look how much damage the Tiny does right now. So much evasion on him, and he's got the Wisp. You think that Living Armor and Glyph are going to mean anything? No tail. He'll just keep on going. He's got old chicken now. The Fisher actually separates the two of them, but he's still reaching over that Fisher to be able to get the kill. The Snowball doesn't quite save the Viper in old 11. He's got to limp himself away. The zombies are all on top of him. And same goes for Kaka, but OG are just focusing on objectives at this point in time. Kaka, whoa, the taunt! Hello, Fly jumps a long way past the tier two tower. But Lottom, he's still gonna be the target of no tail coming forward his crit. And it's gonna have enough damage to CTY now flying zombie into the air. Fly back, back down, and Soul Rip will be able to keep him alive until the tomb comes out. Moon Meander makes sure to get the deny on that one. Doom is punished for his positioning though, as OG can continue deep into the Eho base. Nice snowball dodging the unstable concoction, but it doesn't really mean much. Moon Meander trapped against that tier 3 tower, managed to get off the Fisher, gets the aggro off of him, and CTY, he can't stop the TP out. OG, they dive fearlessly into e Home's base and walk away with plenty of kills. Oh, and oh, chicken. the Viper's oh, gonna go he in here. He can actually challenge No Tail with Crit backing him up. They did get a major Jackson on Miracle, barely gets off the on table concoction, turns around on a CTY, No Tail. He dropped low enough, but they can't keep up with him. Miracle's gonna be the target instead, as Old Chicken keeps him in place as Shackle Shot to ensure. He's on the side of OG quite yet. No Tail still has the axe. He's gonna He's try to trap separation. The Fisher onto Old Chicken. Immediately the target. Old Chicken's gonna be able to get a lot of slow. No Tail is shackled up to a range three, but he's already down to half HP, but he still has that Aegis to work with. And he's clean through Old Eleven, and he'll get Old Chicken as well. The old people are going down, and now an Echo Slam. Moon Banner comes in for the side, catches another two, and even gets the Fisher on a CTY. But OG will turn to take that tier two tower, and Alchemist, Who's doomed, doomed away, doesn't even care. He outregens the damage from Ehome, and OG have plenty of sustain to keep marching forward into the Ehome base. There's just too many core heroes for the Doom to focus down. And what a setup by Moon Meander, being able to isolate two heroes out by himself. The other two desperately trying to climb that wall. And as soon as they do, they get Echo Slam Another back into place. Shot, but again, they have this Aegis. There's just no way they can catch him. Miracle does stun himself with the unstable concoction and maybe Ehome. Maybe they can catch somebody on the way out. The Doom still needs another seven seconds, and even then, he doesn't have his ultimate. So Ehome are forced to, to make a comeback if OG get a little careless, and that's why they're playing it very safe. Got a Glimmer Cape now for the Wiz. Fly has a four staff that we saw that one earlier. Kaka gonna be the target here, it's no tail. They're just trying to run down this Doom. He does have to back up the rest of his team, and No-Tail has to be careful now. Crit, he pops the Glimmer Cape, ready to go with the Relocate, but still, No-Tail, even if he's doomed up, he's right-clicking for so much damage, they do get the Shackle Shot on the side. Might be your Fly's best opportunity. The, the Snowball comes towards Fly. He's gonna be the target of the Focus Fire and does end up going down. CTY oh, has to kill No-Tail the before they're the gonna Doom ends. catch No-Tail. The Wind flies back. He needs to really try and save No-Tail. He comes with the Relocate in and will help No-Tail with the Tether, but he's locked in by the Fissure and another great Shackle Shot as well. E home they're gonna try and get out of the situation echo slam farther up looks like they've caught cty they'll get that one kill and no chicken he goes down as well as miracles able to catch him with an unstable concoction and third is the Taj e home thought they could escape but no chance og commit the buyback back on the whiz and it seems well worth it is there on their way to force out a gg from e home and that was a relatively quick one fantastic positioning by fly we haven't talked about him all game but that tombstone was the nail in the coffin for Ehome. He gets it on the high ground. So many zombies spawn out. Zero way for them to recover that fight at that point. So a fairly dominant game number one for Ehome. But OG strike back in game two, and we will have the full series just to be expected from two top tier caliber teams. Like